So it's just before six in the morning. We're on the Hawkesbury River today. So we launched at Bayview, the Sydney's most expensive boat ramp. I think we paid $25 parking uh, after paying $2.15 for fuel this morning. So it's an expensive morning already, but we're on the Hawkesbury on the water uh, and we're gonna chase a few brim today. So we've got some of the new hard baits, specifically the new Infeet Spike 44. So that's our new smaller version of our popular Spike 53 we've had for a few years. So that was one we've developed over the last couple of years specifically for uh, obviously targeting that brim market, but it's very versatile. You can use it all around the estuaries. But today we're focused on catching a few brim in the washes. Uh, so we've had a lot of rain in Sydney. It's uh, early December. We've had a lot of rain and that should push all the fish from up the top of the Hawkesbury down to the front. So there's some absolutely massive fish out here. Hopefully today we get a few, but any day you're on the water is better than none. So We'll kick the boat into gear and drive through pit water and get into it. So first things first, from a safety perspective, obviously don't fish these kind of areas if the swell's really high or it's incredibly rough sea. Um, you have to be able to cast obviously pretty close to the washes. And if it is rough, you're putting yourself in uh, a fair bit of danger. So one, don't fish when it's rough. Two, if you're by yourself, always wear a life jacket. Uh, we've got two people on the boat at the moment. Both of us are aware of where all the safety gear is, both of us are confident in driving the boat. So if we were to get into trouble, either one of us could uh, put the boat into a safe position. From a fishing perspective, um, all we're doing is using those Spike 44s, uh, casting up into the, close to the edge, and then just doing a slow retrieve out. So the theory is that uh, after a rain event in the Hawkesbury, a lot of the fish do pull down to the front. Uh, of the system so we're hoping that somewhere along one of these washes is a big school of brim and we're going to catch a few on the on the new spike 44 so i've got it on straight through fluorocarbon um, you can fish braid with the leader if, you, if you'd like i prefer to fish crankbaits on a straight through fluorocarbon line uh, so i've got it on j-thread finesse in five pound and one of the in feet crankbait rods so uh, we'll just go along this wash, slowly work along with the electric motor and hopefully we'll run into a school and generally you'll find that you'll find a little patch of the of the wash will have fish in it so you might not get a bite for 100 metres and then in a 50 metre stretch you might catch three or four fish so we'll work our way along here being careful to pay attention to what's coming from behind us. The ocean's that side so we're always being careful to watch for swell sets and that sort of thing. So we'll work along here and see if we can't catch a few. There's a big one just there. Holy moly. Not a massive one, I don't think. As I said, not a big fish by any means. But right up on that wash. Come here. Spike me on the Spike 44. That's the deep runner, so just jam me into the rocks. You can see as I'm fishing it, it's a real slow retrieve. 
kind of really careful with the rod tip to not constantly get snagged. So as you feel the rock or the kelp, you just slow, that, slow down and kind of lift your rod tip. Little one, proof of concept. We go and try and get a big one now. he come from in that little gap so as I said before when you get one normally when they're in the wash they're kind of in schools so you always want to make sure you cover that area thoroughly you can see as I'm retrieving if I feel the lure hit something I'll just give it a little pause let the lure float up slowly the spikes are a slow float in salt water so let it float up slightly over the rock or over the bit of kelp because once you get the lure jammed in the kelp, you ain't getting it back. So it's not the sort of place you can go in and get your lure from. So you want to be real careful, especially since we only have a limited amount of these samples in the boat today. So. one on the rock. See him? On the corner of that rock he's just sitting right up there. So the fish in these areas are always moving. So you can kind of, if they if it's a good day you can go back and forth along these washes and keep catching fish as more and more fish will move up and they'll move around and ones that you have cast at will move on and, and new ones will come in. So. Target species. Cod. I don't even know what it is. There's one. That's a brim. That's a decent brim. Decent brim. Decent brim. Oh, get out of there. Oh, he's so high up. Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. Rod tip high. And now it's just about hope. He's gone over the rock, over the rock, over the rock, over the rock, over the rock. Oh, he's on top of that. So I'm just tr trying to drive him out on the electric. Less rod movement, just try and keep him calm. Just slow ease pressure. He's on another rock now. Ease him out. Oh, he got off. That was a proper one. Damn. That's all right. That might have been the one we saw. That was right where he was. On the sunny gill. Yeah, hook straightened. Obviously had the hook in a bit of a funny spot. You wouldn't straighten hooks on, you know, such a light rod with fluoro. So he's obviously had the hook in a bit of a funny spot in his mouth. That's a shame, that was the one we wanted. I can see him up there, I don't know. Ladrick. Mixed species today. An unexpected catch on a crankbait. A ladder in the wash. I've been seeing plenty of fish up there rolling around. Some of them might be a whole lot of these guys. There's definitely some big brim up there. Lost, lost a big one. And try and get some, some brim.
Frederick. Frederick. Go Frederick. That's like fifth species for today so far. Roderick. Not a common catch on a crankbait, not super rare, but you don't get them all the time on a lures. There's one, that's that's a nice brim, that's a big brim. Steam around this side of the rock. No, he's not that big actually. Not a massive one. He's a bit bigger than that other little one we've got. Not as big as the one we lost before. Low 30s. Really good. He wasn't coming. Spike 44, nice Hawks River wash fish. There should be plenty more around here, so we've seen a few, we lost a big one. So that one was, I cast right up onto a shallow little, I guess a ledge, and as soon as that lure swam off the ledge, this fish absolutely nailed it. That's the sunny gill color, really popular color here in the Hawkesbury uh, with myself and Chris Hickson. So we'll get the hooks out. Get him back in. Let him go. Ready? Oh, there's one. Oh, that just ate something off the surface. Wow, okay. Oh, what is, what is, there's so many fish in there. Oh, there's like a big school of something in there. And this is a giant brim. That is giant. I don't know if they're all brim. There's a big school of something. And I just saw a fish come up and eat something off the surface. Cast my spike in there. And this guy grabbed it. Same thing, just guide him out on the electric. Now he's out from there, we can back the drag off a smidgen. He's probably not as big as I thought. He's sit and busted. That's why you should retire your leader after you catch a fish. It's two prototypes down, probably about four left now. That was a nice fish. That's a rookie mistake, that is. Yeah, there's definitely brim in there. I don't think they're all brim. There's definitely some brim mixed in with them. That's on the Suji berry color. Dark a blacky red colour, one of my favourites. There's still heaps of fish in there so we'll get this out quick and get back in there. Let him go. No idea what these are. Anyone's got an idea of whatever these are called? Put them in the comments below. YouTube. All right, so we've done a fair stretch of uh, one of the washes here. We've come to kind of the end. It starts kind of curving back in and we want to be on that front side. The tide's starting to turn, so it's running out now. So we want to get as far out into the main river, try and hit, get that current flow. As the dirty water starts pushing out, they should start chewing down the front there. So make a quick move. We'll go down the front and see if we can catch a few more. Schnitty. Oh, 
flame grilled apparently. Fisherman's worst nightmare. the deep diving spike again, the EXDR. So there's an MR and an EXDR. That, this one will go down to probably a maximum of about 12 feet. And the MR is about half that, six feet. So using the deep one today in the washes. Working not too bad. Little Hawkesbury brim. had a few bites up in there so there might be a bit of a group of them. The little ones are good at hooking themselves today, and the big ones tend to miss it. Looks out, just a little one. Back in the water. Alright, so fished back and forth down this wash for a little bit, so we're going to move a little bit further out. Well, it's pretty, not much swell at the moment, so it gives us an opportunity to go right out the front and uh, see if there's any fish holding way out there. So we'll go for a bit of a drive and see if we can't get some more. Part of the group, then. With a different catch, crank baiting for bring. Off the water now, we've pulled the boat out. The wind got pretty uh, gnarly out there, so it was a bit intense fishing the washes. So we've come in uh, to talk to you about the brand new Infeet Spike 44. So you saw us fishing it this morning, uh, caught those nice brim, lost a few big ones, which was unfortunate, but it'll uh, be plenty more for next time. So the Spike 44 is uh, a name you'd be familiar with. If you're a fan of Daiwa Lures, you probably have seen the Spike 53 been around for many years now and it's caught plenty of fish uh, so that's obviously a 53 mil kind of medium-ish running kind of shad shaped crankbait very popular down in Victoria catch a lot of black brim on this lure in particular but very versatile 
works great for bass, estuary perch, uh, flathead, anything you want to catch in the estuaries, a spike 53 is going to be really effective. But when I first started Dialer, I wanted to take what was good with the Spike 53 and shrink it down specifically to target that yellowfin brim market. So this 53 mil for me, I just find it a little bit big for the yellowfin. So we developed over the last couple of years the brand new Spike 44. So a 44 mil version, you'll see a very similar body profile. The, the main change we've done in the 44 is extend the belly down um, a little bit further along the, the bottom there and that was to increase the internal cavity space within the lure because we wanted to make it quite a heavy lure so these are around four grams which means they cast very well so we wanted to make sure we had some cavity space so we could put some bigger weights in there and still have them being a slow floating lure the other thing we did when we made the 44 is we made two bib sh uh, shapes so we made the MR, which is very similar to the 53, dives to around 6 feet. And then we made the EXDR. You saw that, uh, that was the model we were fishing this morning. So that's the extra deep running version. So that'll go around up to probably 12 foot on light line and on a long cast. So having the two depths means it's an incredibly versatile lure. You can cover all kind of areas with it. You know, this morning we were fishing the EXDR. If I was, say, fishing a flat, uh, down in Gippsland or something like that, I'd be tying on the MR and dredging it into the bottom, keeping it up shallow. So two depths, very versatile lure, 44 mil, very versatile size, great for yellowfin, whether you're on the Gold Coast or in here in Sydney in the Hawkesbury or Sydney Harbour, um, and equally great for catching black brim down in Victoria. We've caught lots of black brim on these in the testing, lots of fish just in general, you saw us catching all sorts of species today very versatile lure, a very easy lure to use. You don't really have to do much to them. So that means they're a great lure for a beginner as well. So check out the brand new Infeet Spike 44. They're in stores now. You can see all the great colours. You can see the UV images and everything on the Dial Fishing website, dialerfishing.com.au. If you're into your estuary fishing, you're into your hard body lures, check out the brand new Infeet Spike 44. It's one that I've really wanted for a long time and I'm stoked we finally got it to the market and it's definitely going to have its place in my tackle box.